we think uh, perhaps the wind will give us some competition to get hurt today, but we're going to do a little walk around around the monastery on this fine beginning of March. And uh, yeah, down the hill there, you can see the monastery's navy. My red canoe and our flatboat, which is used for the flatboat for tending to uh, beaver problems usually. But we have a lot of things blooming. We, I think, put on line some time ago the uh, and take a look at the Pieras up close this time. It's a very nice blossom, little cluster hanging down. Uh, so no, it isn't the blossom; it's a bloom. It doesn't produce fruit. But uh, in the uh, heliobore, it's actually been in been uh, in bloom for quite a while now, and uh, there are different varieties of them. So they'll stagger along for oh. There may be two months altogether, with uh, some of them blooming. Some of them are starting to wilt a little already. This is a strange little camera, and I don't know exactly when I'm recording and when I'm not, or when it's filming and when it's not. It's uh, called a GoPro, and it has a bit of a strange operation. We can see the daff, daffodils coming out and starting to bloom. I think we already showed a few pictures of the uh, fragrant violets, but I'm trying to get a close-up if I can. And these have a very rich fragrance to them. Uh, they're not a, a lot of them, but uh, anyway, they're, they're sweet in the air, like the uh, honeysuckle, which will be blooming probably uh, by mid-March or the end of March and blooms for quite a long time and it really gives marvelous fragrance off from it. As you can see it's a rather sunny day today, a little bit cool and very comfortable I'd say and the wind that's blowing is coming in from the Pacific Ocean so uh, and from the Pacific Ocean so uh, we can uh, find it very comfortable. Um, again this is a strange little camera and I'm not sure what it's supposed to do or what its function is, but uh, someone gave it to me, so I have it, and I'm going to give it a try. Uh, probably have to assemble several little snippets, I think, from this one. And the posk flowers, or the posca flowers, just coming up the first first ones. The beautiful little golden stamens in, in the purple make a, a, a brilliant show. Uh, this is another one of the heliobores that's just opening up now. And there, there are a few of them around. Uh, it's almost time we, we have to cut the uh, fuchsia bush back sharply and then it will come up and from April till August probably will have blossoms on the, on the fuchsia bush at the end of April. And it's a very beautiful species fuchsia. Uh, it's called bleeding hearts, and uh, there'll be wild bleeding hearts, false Solomon seals, and uh, Mahonia, and a number of other things blooming. There's a wilderness lily, a trillium, that blooms in some places. So that's, that's where we are in our season right now here in British Columbia. As you can see, rich green grass, and of course the grass is always green here. We, if we don't get cold enough for the grass to get burned off in it. And a uh, little chapel for the joy of Canada outdoors, which draws a lot of people in the summertime. And our ubiquitous cat, I should have, see, I named her Machka, maybe I should have named her ubiquitous. Uh, everybody on Sunday brings little treats for the cats, well not everybody, but about a dozen people do, and they're quite spoiled. Now on Sundays when they see cars arriving, they sometimes go out to greet the cars because they know that they know the people, and they know the, the people's cars actually a lot because the ivy wants to spread all over and take over, so we have to cut it at the base quite regularly, but I rather like it going into the Celtic garden this way. And this will be full of color and bloom in another month actually because the uh, I see the Welsh poppies starting to come up and some of the other plants that come back. We actually usually get a return of some of the volunteer um, snapdragons that 
reseed themselves and come up every second year they we get a bloom of them so by rotating them we actually end up getting them every year some other things the tulips I see in this pot the tulip leaves are up but um, they'll be struggling it'll be another little while before they bloom so and the lake looks nice down below us the monastery's lake um, we have uh, a fish in it. The cat wants to be on the camera. Kitty cat. Here you go. Here you go, Machka. <laughs> I called her Machka, which is Serbian for cat. So but somebody said it's a cat named Cat. Reminds me of a poem by a, a Russian, um, Romanian poet. That I can't think of the whole story now. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this little walkabout.